This week on Maker Update, LEDs for your eyes, talking to your lamp, a new marble machine, the poor man's table saw, and a giant super soaker. It's Wednesday, July 19th. I'm Donald Bell, and welcome to another Maker Update. I hope you're having a great summer. I am becoming aware that summer is rapidly running out, and my to-do list is not quite getting done at the pace that I would have hoped. But things are getting done, and I can't complain. There are a lot of projects to cover, so let's get right into it, starting with my favorite project this week. On Adafruit, the Ruiz brothers have a cool guide on creating these creepy LED sequin eyes. It's a totally cyberpunk look that's actually pretty low tech as a project. There's no Arduino or microprocessor involved. The real trick is to just make something lightweight enough that you can stick it to your face without it being uncomfortable. To do this, Noah and Pedro took these tiny individual LED sequins and wire them together using strands of thin enameled copper wire. They used two sets of five LEDs and powered each of them off the same three volt coin cell battery pack, which has its own built-in switch. A simple 3D printed enclosure for the battery board allows it to be clipped to your shirt behind your neck and with the LED strips reaching up and around to your face. A couple bits of medical tape hold the LEDs above your eyebrows without it hurting your skin or making a sticky mess. I think these would look great as a part of some Blade Runner themed Halloween costume. There's also a great new project up by Becky Stern showing how to use an Adafruit feather board to bring Amazon Echo voice control to an old lamp. The project uses elements from Becky's Internet of Things class on Instructables. It's essentially an internet connected relay switch that uses an Arduino library called FOMO ESP to emulate a Belkin Wemo device. And while IoT projects are a fairly common sight on Instructables, what I love most about Becky's is the video where midway through, she walks us through how she mashes up the code between two sketches to get what she wants. This to me is 90% of what I do with Arduino, but mine looks more like fumbling around in the dark. It's rare to see sketches mashed together like this on video, but someone who actually knows what they're doing and can explain as they go. It's worth a watch. Finally, Greg Zumwalt blows my mind again for the second week in a row, this time with a project called Marble Vader Air. This 3D printed marble machine uses a geared DC motor to raise marbles up a column and then drops them in such a way that it bounces between three platforms before landing back into the feeding chute. Each of the three platforms have adjustment knobs so that you can dial in the perfect position to get it working. The whole thing is a novelty, I know that, but I totally want to see one of these in person. For this Cool Tools video review, I'm going to show you guys the Craig Rip Cut Circular Saw Guide. This thing sells for around $32. It's great if you have a small workshop or no workshop at all. And if you pick one up using the link in the video description down here, it helps to support my videos and the Cool Tools blog. If you have a table saw, there's probably no reason to buy this. But if you have a small garage like mine and you don't want to surrender the space and the money to have a table saw, this and a circular saw are an effective way to accurately break down sheets of wood. It comes in two pieces. One is a universal adapter that can mount onto just about any circular saw, including left-handed models. This just screws onto the existing plate and I really just leave mine on all the time. The other is this L-shaped aluminum ruler designed to hug and slide against the straight outside edge of your wood. You latch the adapter plate onto the ruler, measure out where you want to cut, and make it happen using the edge of the board as your guide for the cut. Now there are two obvious limitations on this. One is that the aluminum guide only extends out up to 24 inches. The other is that you'll need some kind of spoiler board if you want to cut all the way through your material. Alternatively, you could buy a long metal guide track or even use a long 2x4 and clamp it down wherever you want and let that guide your cut. But using the rip cut, there's no limit to the length of your cut, especially with a battery powered saw. Also, if you want to rip another identical section, there's no setup involved. You just move back to the beginning and saw again. Even more important to me, I don't have to store a big long metal track in my workshop. This just hangs out of the way and it's small enough that I can just throw it in the backseat of my car if I want to take it somewhere. So that's the Craig Rip Cut. It's available on Amazon. And if this video was helpful, it would be great if you could use the link in the video description to pick yours up, which kicks a little money back to me. And remember, you can see thousands of reader recommended tools like this at cool-tools.org.
I'm also happy to announce that the Cool Tools YouTube channel is officially up and running. They have my tool review segments from the show over there, along with other tool reviews of mine that you haven't seen yet, including a portable soldering iron comparison video. I encourage you to subscribe. You'll find a link in the description and at the end of this video. For some other tools and tips, I came across this instructable by J. Ben Oden on using audio jack connectors for key holders. It's probably not the most practical solution, but I am a sucker for the tactile feeling of plugging in a guitar cable, so I may use this. And I also have to mention this collaboration video between Bob Claggett and Mark Rober on making this giant super soaker water gun. What I like most about it is seeing how Bob went about scaling up the super soaker design, taking the original dimensions, plotting it out on a grid, and then scaling it up on plywood. It got me excited for making the Halloween props and decorations on my summer to-do list. Maker fairs! There are three happening this weekend, including Singapore, Kingsport, Tennessee, and Wichita, Kansas. Plus, you've got Dublin Maker in Dublin, Ireland. So go out, see cool stuff, and maybe learn something. And that is it for this week's show. Uh, I just want to mention we reached the 7,000 subscriber mark this past week. So thank you everybody for your support and your likes and your comments. My plan is to just keep on doing what I'm doing and hopefully hold on to you guys. Um, the Craig Rip Cut that I recommended as my cool tool this week. If you want to pick one of those up, please use the link in the description. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.